Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Agnes of Rome. Saint Agnes has ever been held in the highest honor throughout the church and her name occurs in the canon of the mass. Little is known with certainty about her short life. Yet even from that little it is clear that she was desirous of consecrating herself solely to Christ and so declined the hand of many a suitor. This led her to be exposed in a brothel where all who saw her were awestruck. A lone youth who dared to attempt violating her modesty was struck blind but regained his eyesight through the intervention of Agnes's prayer. She was eventually martyred at the age of 12 and buried at a parent's country place on the Via Nomentana, 1.5 miles outside of Rome. A basilica constructed over a tomb in the year 324 was completely rebuilt by Pope Honorius about the year 630 and has remained almost unaltered since. St Agnes is the patron of purity of the children of Mary and of young girls in general. For tradition has always credited her with having been a model of purity and modesty and having maintained her faith in spite of every enticement, threat and torture. Gardeners also revere her as their patron. Each year this day two young white lambs symbol of innocence are solemnly blessed at the high altar of a church and offered to the pope and from their wool are later made the palia which the holy father sends to the metropolitans the world over as a sign of their sharing with him the plenitude of pontifical office